you know what, Aquarius? I pulled two Lenormand cards for you. And I, what I feel is like you're saying, mind your own fucking business. <laughs> like, that's exactly what I feel like you're saying. Like, none of your business, Michelle. Stay out of our business. I feel like there's this whole motif of, I don't want people to know something. I want to be isolated. I want to be, not necessarily because I'm in a bad mood, but because uh, it's none of anybody's business, leave me alone. Or some sort of thing, something that you want to keep private. Or for some of you, it could be that you feel like you are set apart somehow from the world in some way. The two cards are the man, which represents usually a man if you identify as a man, and then the tower, which is aloofness or being uh, kept away, kept apart, distanced from somebody, or a feeling of a, a huge, like, um, like, like, a, like a barrier, like an emotional barrier. So this is somebody you could be dealing with, Aquarius, a man that has barriers, a man that keeps himself aloof and apart from. Now, this may not be because of, which might absolutely intrigue you, but it may not be, um, especially if you're dealing with them Scorpio men, you know, this sense of feeling distant, feeling like somebody isn't, or feeling yourself like somebody is intentionally keeping themselves away from you. Um, really interesting for this week, um, because this week is all about karma. So it's, it's interesting that somebody might be dealing with something. This could be the energy of somebody dealing with something that is difficult for them to go through and that they'd rather not go through publicly. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could very well be just, you know what? I'm getting into a new romantic relationship and it's none of anybody's business. You know, that could be what's happening. But it'd be interesting to find out what's exactly going on with the rest of the reading. So let's get into the cards. Um, if you like this reading so far, please do like and subscribe to the channel and then ring that bell and hit all notifications. I upload Aquarius every single Wednesday with Capricorn and Pisces. So you can enjoy the readings every single week. And there's always an extended reading. That link is directly below the video. And that includes two readings in one. Your almost personal reading, that's an extension of this reading that continues the message. And then your Aquarius specific romance reading is over there as well. So um, please check that out. Um, I am a voice. So this is really interesting because this is like you have something to say or you want to be heard. You know, this could be that you're trying to talk or you want to be heard, but somebody's not letting you be heard. Or you may feel in some ways like you're screaming and shouting, but somebody's not listening. Uh, somebody's not paying. An, or I wouldn't say it's about being paid attention to as much as just feeling either ignored or not taken seriously, which can be really horrific if you're in a situation where um, somebody's up to something that you know is going to harm them and you feel like you're just not being listened to. But here it is. I am a voice having something to say. Now, this could also feel like you can't or you're stifled. Like for some reason, um, you have something to say, but you have to keep it to yourself. Or in most in most cases, I feel like you're dealing with some somebody that will not listen to you. And then we go on to shoes. So there could be some traveling here. There could be some, think about very mercurial energy. Mercurial, mercury is playing a, a huge role, a, a huge part right now um, because Mercury is in Gemini. The North Node is in Gemini. Venus is in Gemini. There's been a lot of sort of magnification around this Gemini energy, which is usually complementary to Aquarian energy, but it does seem like things are scattered and all over the place. Lots of good ideas, lots of intense inspiration, but simultaneously kind of scattered and not really knowing which direction it's coming from. This could also mean that you feel like you've been kept apart and you want to get out more. You want to travel more. You want to see more things. You want to talk to more people. You have something to say and you're, you're intent on sharing it. And yet you feel in some ways like you're being discouraged or stifled from sharing it. Okay. There he is. Okay. And then we have children know that your children are protected 
then this doesn't have to, maybe you don't have any children, right? Oh, but so let, let's, let's, let's keep this as general as possible for right now, especially when we're over here on YouTube. Um, this is a card that says that the people that you care about, the people that you, like, you have a great intent on taking care of, uh, people who cannot take care of themselves. And maybe this is who you are a voice for. You want to get out a message for people who are isolated and people who can't speak for themselves. This is, uh, something that you are intent on and quite a noble motivation right now, especially when karma is so intense. This is the week when karma comes around. If you didn't get to hear my astrology motivate uh, my astrology um forecast, please go look at that because this is a very important week for everybody where we just walk into karma and we we just can't escape it. So that's over on my second channel, Astrology Motivation. Uh, please do look it up and subscribe over there too. That would be awesome. But this is a week of intense karma. And so you may be driven to um, sticking up for people that can't stick up for themselves or saying something, wanting to get a message out. Cause that's what we've got. Just wanting to get a message out, wanting to spread the word or wanting to get out yourself and be heard, especially when it comes to, um, somebody who can't do that for themselves. If you have children, that's especially intensified. And then we have creative wonderment, follow your passion. I wonder if part of the child that needs to be taken care of is you. This sort of, um, um, this childhood innocence or childhood wonderment that you used to have towards something. Um, but this is also get out and show yourself, follow your passions. Like, have you followed your passions? Being inspired or or trying to protect somebody else so that you can ensure that they get to follow their passions and that they're not suppressed or stifled in any way. So you are on a fucking mission right now in this energy, right? Um, cheer up, live in the moment. It's almost like you don't, you want everybody to be judged for who they are, not who they were or who they could be. It's like you're trying to take pressure off yourself and you're trying to take pressure off others and pointing out the fact that um what's wrong what's wrong with these pressures and why it's why it's harmful um living in the moment there's such i i feel like almost like you're getting some chance you're finally being heard maybe you're getting into the spotlight you're stepping into a spotlight or or you're getting a chance that you've wanted for a very long time and and, and now it's finally come around it's almost like there's a there's an uptick in your life there's a, a happiness that's breaking through that maybe was suppressed for a while now okay Okay, this is Aquarius energy. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. I know, I'm so tired right now. I apologize. All of a sudden, I just lost all my energy. Uh, sacral chakra. Oh yeah, you you are 100% wanting to be heard. Sacral chakra is the, sh the shallow chakra that's represented by yellow. It lies right beneath your heart, which is the green chakra, which is represented by green usually. And the sacral chakra, think of it as your diaphragm, which means, and here is your voice. You have something to say, or it's time for you to be heard. And it's time for you to be heard so that you can get attention to be seen. So it's going to go hand in hand. You definitely want both. Um, this is a great Great time for you to be heard and for you to be seen and for you to speak out and say something that needs to be said. This is an exceptional energy for you to finally be noticed. So take that chance. And I've said it, especially as I record this, we're at the we're in the new moon in Taurus. With this energy, this is the time to plant the seeds, Aquarius. So you are being called to plant the seeds on on, on this passion, on this this enterprise, whatever it is that you just have to release and get out of you that's been stifled, a saying what you need to say, speaking up, all of these things, it's like lying right there, sitting on your gut, and it's just like ready to explode outward. So you really need to say what you need to say. It could be to a specific somebody, especially if somebody has been trying to like avoid you or trying to be aloof or trying to like uh, get out of having to listen to you. That's just not going to fly. Or something has been building up. You're finally going to be heard. You're finally going to be seen. All of these things is great stuff.
Um, and then we move on to the Moonology deck. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. It's always a wonderful thing when the Moonology cards show up with your energy, right? And this energy is saying, who are you really? Come out, come out of, of, of your hiding, come out of, um, you know, waiting. You, you might not have intentionally been in hiding. This is, this could be a, uh, sort of like a release, just a release valve of you finally get to be you again. You, you finally get to be you in public. You don't have to worry about um, holding back or it's, it's almost like something is debuting. That's kind of what I feel. A grand debut, Aquarius. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting coming off of, of these cards. A very simple, clear message. Conclusions are within reach. So there could be some criticism, judgment, or you know that this is going to be publicly received somehow. Show the world the real you. Conclusions are within reach. Conclusions also could be conclusions of this project that you're working on. There's, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like, I can't help but feeling this energy. I'm getting more psyched. I'm getting more hyped up the more that I talk about it. So there's some sort of big announcement that you have. I'd like to go into what it is, but you know what? We'll, we'll find more specifics in tarot. I think for right now, you know what it is. This is, but how, 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 how does it pertain to what's going on in the world at large? And, um, what you what you want and will it work out that's the thing conclusions are within reach and i think that in some ways there's been safety in staying aloof there's been safety in holding back and now is like almost like the moment of truth and you want to rush toward it check this out look forward that's the only way you can go at this point. There is no turning back. I had a conversation with one of my friends. Forward is your only choice. Um, you don't want to get distracted. You want to stay focused. And I think that your focus determines your reality right now. For you, it is so crisp and pure and so right near the surface of, of how this manifestation is so powerful. It's like if you think about it, it's going to happen. So understand your power right now, Aquarius, in being able to manifest watch your thoughts and watch what you say because whatever you say it's so strong and powerful right now it will plant a seed your direction is forward you you can't go back or redo anything it's gonna come out you want it to come out it's it's exciting probably probably for most of you an exciting time simultaneously there's a little bit of worry here just laugh have a good sense of humor um know that it, in other words Take what you do seriously, but don't take yourself seriously. Remain as lighthearted as you can. That's where this Gemini energy is going to really help you out. Is um um because it it it's gonna it's gonna remind you to stay light. Like keep things light. Don't don't let it. Don't get too bogged down or worry too much about it because it's not going to do any good for you. Listen to the music. Gemini energy is also very musical. Um, so this could be some sort of harmony, harmonizing with somebody, picking up on somebody else's notes, picking up on somebody's innuendos or what they're trying to imply. Um, but it's also kind of celebration. It's like look forward, just laugh and listen to the music. What's done is done. There's no turning back. So why worry about what's behind you? The way is forward. I think the worry is coming specifically from, well, how will this be received? Well, let's see. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, please? What does Aquarius need to know? It's a little bit, um, a little bit confusing. Um, um, that maybe there's a sense of nobody's going to come and help you. Nobody's going to liberate you or free you from any kind of trouble that you get to almost like you feel like you're in this to win this, but you also feel like you're all alone. Maybe not necessarily just because somebody wouldn't come to help you, but at the same time, maybe, maybe, maybe people can't, people don't have the resources to do it. So there is a sense of feeling like whatever shit I get myself into or have gotten myself into, I'm kind of alone right now. 
but you can handle this. You know, this is a reminder that you are protected, so you're not alone. You may feel alone, but there are people watching over you. Uh, at the time when you feel most alone, Aquarius, you're protected. Um, there's some sort of protection here. Maybe protection that you don't feel like you deserve, or maybe you just don't understand or feel like you need help right now right? Either way, you are being protected over, especially during the dark times, like those times when you feel worst about yourself or um, kind of like it's always darkest right before the dawn. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Uh, questioning your beliefs. This is a really important card because this reminds you to ask, why do you think so negatively? Or why, why do you feel like nobody will help you? Or why do you feel unworthy? Or why do you believe that, um, a, why do you believe things? You're going over this and reviewing in your brain, like, where did it come from? Did my beliefs come from a bad lesson that I learned and I just got stuck in this broken record kind of thing? Or, right, it could be a broken record kind of thing. Or um, did I learn it and it was correct? So this has you really re-evaluating why you believe what you believe. And this is also, let me say this, Saturn is about to go retrograde in Aquarius. It goes on the 20, May 23rd. So it's a couple, about a, it's about a week. It's about two weeks out. This is really huge energy that's going to make everybody sort of question, why am I really doing this? Am I doing this because I really love it? Is this sincerely me? Or am I doing it just because it was the easy way or was the obvious way or was somebody told me it was the right way to do things? Like those kind of beliefs are going to come very natural to you right now. Since Saturn is in Aquarius, it's going to it's going to perfect affect you profoundly. There is a natural sense of self-review and self-criticism that is occurring in your energy right now. Intuition, getting in touch with your deeper self, the self that goes beneath your ego and beneath your brain. This is your intuition. You could also be dealing with somebody who's highly intuitive, but the moon also says, oh, there's going to be a um, full moon. There's going to be a full moon right after Saturn goes retrograde. So there's a lot of exposés there that this is telling me, Aquarius, what you know, what you're, what you're feeling inside is going to be uh, revealed. Like you're going to see that your, your, tu your intuition, your tuition, <laughs> your intuition is dead on. So there could be some concern that you're like, oh, did I really do the right thing? Did I really, um, did I really do the right thing? Did I really say the right thing? When I spoke up, did I speak too soon? I think you're rethinking actions that you took right now, probably for a very good reason. Listen to your heart and intuition are coming out together. So whatever you believe is true, believe it. Whatever you're feeling inside of your gut, really trust your intuition right now because it's on point. And, um, you may have to, in other words, start prepping and planning right now in accordance with what your intuition and your heart is revealing to you. Uh, all that glitters. This is a nice reminder that all that glitters is not gold. You may have felt hoodwinked or taken advantage of by somebody or something, uh, by an opportunity. All that glitters. This is being distracted by shiny stuff when in fact shiny stuff could be very fake and very untrue. I get it now. I feel like you're feeling like somebody tried to hoodwink you or put one over on you. And you're starting to understand that to the C. Now to the C means you do, you're taking time out. You're taking, you're isolating yourself to think and to feel, to get in touch with, remember the, the sea, the ocean is all representative of emotion, to get into what you really feel, what you really think is going on here between two worlds. You're, you're caught in between, you see both sides of something, but at the same time, I don't think you thought that you would see both sides. I think this is catching you by surprise. 
you're you're a you're trying to be fair about things but also the side that you thought that you'd side with is now starting to look a little bit dusty and a little bit crusty and you're starting to be able to see that side the other side a little bit more um, maybe it's that you're balancing something out and giving some two people both time to talk or giving the other person time to talk um, between two worlds could also mean that you're in a relationship that's that's difficult because you have two different you're dealing with uh, a totally different somebody who's totally different than you so this could all be about meeting somebody who say a water sign right because there's a lot of water in your reading a lot of intuition a lot of full moons you could be dealing with a water sign right now aquarius that is so different than you they're making you question everything about yourself not because they're mean or evil but because they're showing you a perspective that you you don't have normally and it's quite fascinating to you but it's also um kind of like learning a second language and regeneration oh this is beautiful energy this is growing back being it's almost like being given a second chance at something or re like regenerating uh regenerating old beliefs that you thought that you had excuse me i'm so sorry i'm so sorry regenerating old beliefs or uh, it's like something's coming alive in you that you you're not expecting that you thought was gone forever that's going to be really i wonder what that is hold on aquarius yeah, you're, you're, um, something's growing back. It's a good thing that it's growing back because it's, it's a sign of healing that something is coming back. And this could be a recognition or a realization or an understanding or an empathy that's starting to come back, um, that for whatever reason had gone, um, spiritual path, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you. That's exactly what this was saying, which prompts you to make necessary life changes that's intense. That's intense. And that's why it's such a difficult period because it's like you are the deliverer of your own karma and which we all are. I know, but it's almost like you're like, but what do you really believe? But what do you really believe? But until you're like, you're like pounding it until you, you have to answer. And there's just this sense of, um, now I have to change. Once I've seen what I've seen, I can't go back. I can't unsee it. My whole world, your whole world is changing because you've realized something. And then Aquarius, uh, ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. Your pop, it's like something is happening that's very important in your life. And you're going to see uh, it uh, come hell or high water, right or wrong. What's done is done. I have to, I just have to roll with it. But this is really big. Um, something momentous is coming out. What did I want to check with Tara? What's this regeneration? What are you starting again? To the sea. To the sea. This is really cool. I think you're starting to realize something. Maybe something that's been buried deep down inside of you. Because you're with somebody or you're in the presence of somebody who's inspiring it. Let's see what your to animal totems have to say. Um, please check out my Instagram channel Monday through Friday. You can join me for live readings there. Born underscore without underscore boundaries. And also... No, I think we covered everything else. God, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Your animal totem cards are very, very important because they are animal totems are how the universe uses the natural world to communicate its messages to you. So you're going to want to pay close attention when you see these animals that are around you. You may not really see the animals. You may see pictures of them, something on somebody's t-shirt, a, a fucking billboard, whatever it is, you'll see these repetitive patterns of these animals constantly coming back into your life. Um, and when you do, don't only remember the message that I'm going to share with you, Think about what's around you. That's really important to do when an animal totem comes into your life for some reason. Of course, the most powerful experience is when the animal totem is live in front of you. Um, but it can just be through symbols as well. Oh, wow. A rebirth is assured. I mean, this tells me so much that I need to know. It's like you're finally coming out. You're finally ready to spread your wings. You're finally ready to be all of you. And you're, you're, it's like you're leveling up in life. 
that's kind of what this feels like. That is a regenerative energy. It, it speaks of coming out of the darkness, even though bats are nocturnal, but it does. It speaks to opening up your, opening up your wings and flying. It's almost like he's in a cocoon, right? He has that cocoon shape and that one wing out is like the one butterfly wing just popped out of the cocoon. You're ready to be your full self now. Aquarius. And then we have watch and wait. This is Piscean energy, but it's extremely, it's, it's upside down. It's coming out in reverse, which means there's no more patience. There's no more waiting. The time is now, the time is here, right or wrong. It's got to happen. And then we have, you are never alone, but you feel alone. That's what it is. It's a, or it's almost like, do I pretend to still be alone? Do I continue and perpetuate this myth that I'm alone? Or do I say, hey, I'm actually really with somebody. But there is that sense of pretending to be or finding yourself more alone than you would want to be right now. This is being short-sighted. Um, giraffe energy in reverse is when you're not looking beyond your own life your own world and that's really easy for you to get lost in right now or that you see somebody getting lost in this could very well be somebody is lost in their own world right now they're not really paying attention to anything that's going on outside of them that's causing a lot of heartbreak for you and honestly i think you want to bounce or like if that's the story um, this could also be just really getting being sick of people not taking care of other people, being short sighted and being ready to move on from that mentality and help direct other people on from that mentality. Let's get into your angel messages. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right. Two angel messages come out. How came out? How beautiful! Forgiveness. Let the past go. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. Okay. All right, Aquarius. And then we have destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. In other words, you you have to step beyond this. Where you are right now is beneath you. You have to step beyond this and you know it. And it's a moral jump. It's it's an ethical jump. It's not like even just like social status. It's like you're you're being called to do more. What do you have to do? We're going to get into that in tarot. The link is below. Please join me um, and I'll see you guys in the extended.